Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a landing page on Shopify. This landing page will look different from the regular product pages on your Shopify theme. So to get started, all you want to do is go into your Shopify admin page as you can see right here. Once on the admin page, I want you to tap on apps in the bottom left hand corner. Then from here, you're going to simply scroll down and you're going to tap right where you see recommended apps. After tapping on recommended apps, you're going to scroll down and you're going to tap on Shopify App Store. Once in the App Store, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, I want you to tap on the search bar and you're going to type in PageFly. So you want to download the PageFly app as you can see right here. After selecting PageFly, you are going to tap on the PageFly landing page builder. And you can see that it is free to install and it is also highly rated and has been used by numerous persons. So all you'll have to do now is tap on open app. After tapping on open app, you will be redirected to the PageFly dashboard as you can see right here. And what I want you to do is go over to the left hand menu option, right where you see pages, you are going to tap right there. After tapping on pages, you can see the different options right here. But what I want you to tap on is regular pages. After tapping on regular pages, in the top right hand corner, you can see two options. You can either choose to create a blank page so you can decide to start from scratch or you could tap on their template option. I would recommend that you use the template option as with PageFly you'll be provided with beautiful templates that you can customize to your liking as you can see right here. So all you'll have to do is go over to the left hand menu option and you can select landing page. Then you will see the different landing page templates that you can customize. So all you have to do is scroll down and you can select any one of these landing page templates as you can see right here. So it all depends on what season you're in or what you're actually looking for. So let's say for example I want to use this landing page. All I would have to do is tap on it then tap on select template. After you have done that, you are going to give it a few seconds and from here we will now be able to customize our new landing page. Landing page template, you can see how it looks right here. You can see that they have a free shipping section. So if you wanted to change the text section right here or if you want to remove it, all you have to do is tap on the particular section that you want to edit. And from there, you can edit the text if you want. So let's say, for example, I wanted to change it from free shipping within the United States to just say free shipping worldwide. So I can simply clear that section of the text. So I'll say free shipping worldwide. So I'll type in worldwide right here. After doing that, if you would like to change the style, you can over here. All you'll have to do is tap on general. Then from there, if you would like to bold the text, you can. If you would like to make the text italic, you can do that also. And by scrolling down, you can see different options, whether you would like to hide it on desktop or hide it on laptop or hide it on mobile, you can select any one of those options. And you can also change the font style if you want by simply tapping on styling right there. You can also change the color of the font if you want. You have numerous options on how to customize it, as you can see right here by scrolling down. And if you would like to add a background image, you can also do that. Once you have made the changes right there, you can scroll down and you can change each detail. All you have to do is tap on the text box that you would like to edit, then go over to the right hand corner. And from there, you could tap on general then you could type in your text right here. And again, if you would like to change the font style or so on, 
all you have to do is tap on styling then scroll down and from there you will see the option to change the font style right where you see custom you could select a different font style right there as you can see and you can also change the size of the font as you can see right there and again if you would like to change the color you can also do that and also if you would like to make the link clickable you can do that right where you see click action you can select go to url or you can tap on open pop-up or you could add a call number if you want so let's scroll down so you can see right here with the button right here all you have to do is tap on the button then after tapping on the button again we'll go over to the right hand menu option and from here you can change the text so let's say for example instead of saying grab the deal we can say buy now just for example sake so i'll type in buy now right here then after doing that we can scroll down and right where you see click action you can tap right there then you'll select go to url after you have tapped on go to url you could tap on select url and after you have select tapped on select url you could select products and from here you'll see all of the products that are currently on your shopify store as you can see right here so let's say i want to redirect them to this particular product then i'll tap on the product and you can select whether you would like it to open in a new tab in the top right hand corner or not also if you want to change the background color you can do that all you have to do is tap on styling in the top right hand corner then you are going to simply scroll down to where you see background color so you can scroll down to background color as you can see right here then you'll tap on custom and from here you could select the background color that you want to use as you can see right there and if you wanted to add a background image you can do that but I think the button looks good right here and also you can change the background image by simply tapping on the section then you can see the background image right here and to change it is quite easy all you have to do is tap right where you see select then from here you'll be able to upload an image if you want and you can tap on upload from computer and you'll be able to upload your own image to add and after doing that you can scroll down and you can see more settings you could tap on that and from there you can change the background position if you want or you can also select whether you want to change the background size as you can see right here there are numerous options you can select on how you would like to customize or how you would like your background to look so if you would like to add more elements also to this landing page you can also do that so by scrolling down let us scroll down so you can see how the landing page looks at the moment you can see it right here and you can change each of these sections or if you would like to remove a particular section all you have to do is tap on it after you have tapped on it you will see a trash can and you can simply tap on the trash can to remove that particular section as you can see right here and if you would like to add more elements you can do that by going over to the left hand menu option then tapping on add elements which is the plus right there after you have made the changes what i recommend you do is tap on save in the top right hand corner then from here we can simply give it land the name landing page so we'll type in landing page real quick and you can simply tap on save as we don't want any of our changes to be lost so we'll simply tap on got it then we'll scroll down and after scrolling down from here if you would like to delete any section you can do that so all you have to do is scroll down and let's say for example i want to delete this section right here all you have to do is tap on it then you will tap on the trash can right there that says delete and you can delete the entire row if you want 
Also, if you would like to add any elements, let's say you want to add a video or a picture to your landing page, all you have to do is go over to the left hand menu option, tap on the plus right where you see add elements. From here, if you would like to add a slideshow, you can do that. If you would like to change the layout, you can do that also. As you can see, numerous containers option that you can select from right here. So all you'll have to do is scroll down and select a particular option. And you can also add heading if you want or if you would like to add anything at all. You can simply tap in the box right here to search for that particular element. So there are numerous editing options that you can use when it comes on to PageFly. As you can see, you can also add your YouTube video or Vimo, Vimo video better yet. And you can also add your social links if you want. So once it is to your liking, all you'll have to do now is tap on save in the top right hand corner. But before doing that, I want to show you all of the features as you can add also third party applications if you want. And also if you made a mistake, you can simply tap on version history in the bottom left hand corner to go back. Once it is finished and to your liking, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on save and publish. And just give it a few seconds and you can see right here, this is the URL and all you have to do now is tap on publish. And the reason why this is coming up is because I'm on the free plan and I had already published one page. So with the free plan, you'll be able to publish one page using PageFly. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.